I'm finally getting around to removing the running board. It's a running board ectomy is what they call it, and that's what I'm doing. And there's a wasp flying in front of my camera. Son of a gun. Stop flying in front of my camera. Pictures online, having the running boards off looks a lot better. In real, in real life, with your own truck, it's like an amazing difference. Uh, it looks like a whole different vehicle and looks a lot cooler. Is different. What's different? The step. Yeah. Oh, I see it. What do you think of that? How's it look? Good. You think it looks. I know why you did that. Why? Because if there's any rocks, big rocks, um, it might hit um, there and um, it might actually fall off. Right. Good job. You get a little more clearance, huh? Being out of the way actually give you a little more clearance, uh, which is nice. And then it'll set me up for being able to get the um, rock sliders that I'm looking to get in the future. So all you really need to do this is a 14 millimeter socket and you need a universal joint. And ideally, you're going to have a quarter inch drive extension with a quarter inch universal joint. And the reason is, uh, there are two bolts up in the back side of this um, that are a little bit challenging to get to. Um, I couldn't do it with a 3 8 inch universal. I had to use the quarter inch. Um, I got some of that uh, uh, info off of I Hate Mud and it was spot so You can on. see right up in here, this is the rear bracket and you have this body mount right here. And I've packed this out a little bit already. Um, but just to show you, when I get the socket in there, it just barely wants to go and it's even tight for that universal joint to get around there but you can do it that's why you got to use the smallest one the quarter inch um, there's also if you have certain years with a rear ac the ac lines on the passenger side run right up in front of some of those bolts so again you're going to need a universal joint and i actually had to reposition this a few times uh, to be able to get it to turn. So I'll, I'll show you that. So well. the other two challenging ones are the two bolts that are up on the front passenger side. You can see the one right down in here. Um, it's behind these AC lines that run to the back for the rear air conditioning. Um, that one I had to reposition the universal joint a number of times to even be able to turn it up in there. It was so tight. Um, and this one is not as bad. Definitely need to wear protective eyewear. So that one you can see I can get it on there and I just have a little bit of bend in the universal joint so it comes right nice and easy. Pretty much all of them besides uh, those couple challenging ones are all pretty easy to access like this with any standard ratchet. I ended up also needing a 10 millimeter open end wrench for the, the little nut up front. The first thing that you're gonna need to remove is this 10 millimeter nut right here. Now once you get all the bolts out, there are two that are nuts that go on a little screw that's on there and then you can just reach in and slide it off of those and just be careful on the front side with the slide get around your AC lines. A little bit of dirt in there. That was from the soccer fields. So after you get uh, all of these out, you're gonna want to put them back in to make sure you make sure you don't get any dirt or anything up in those holes. Here's the entire driver's side at 10 times speed. Right now I'm taking off the middle nuts and bolts. And move it to the rear. Now I'm going to pop off. I'm sticking a little bit so I had to try a couple times then to pop them off the two nuts. That's it.
now I'm putting all the bolts back into the holes. Make sure no dirt gets up in there. And just about it, the last couple ones. Use that universal joint again. And that little nut up front and I'm done. All right, so about 30 minutes, even in the blazing heat, it's not too bad. I ended up also needing a 10 millimeter open end wrench for the, the little nut up front. And watch out for wasps. Yeah. Jesus. Please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.